Do you find that you have slow feet or agility, especially with the ball, that opponents are able to poke the ball away for you, uh, from you and you're not able to maintain it? Well, I'm gonna give you three things you can do, three different uh, kind of groups of exercises that are gonna really help you to develop more agility, faster feet, and these are some of the things I did that really took this to the next level with uh, for me. A lot of these are very simple, but if you do them often, you'll notice that your feet are getting faster and also how you're able to manipulate the ball is gonna be faster as well. You'll have more comfort on the ball, so let's jump into it. So the first one is very simple, and you've heard of it before, but it's ball mastery, and just being able to do this more fluidly and faster is gonna help you have that muscle memory needed in games. And there's three I want you to start out with, and I can link some videos in the description that will give you more. In fact, I'll link a video in the description that gives you like, I don't even know, like 15 of these drills. But the three I would recommend in the beginning are called triangles, um, croquetas, and L's. These are really good quick feet drills that also work on your balance and your touch on the ball and so many different things. And I find these ones very effective. I still do them whenever I go to the gym, sometimes between sets when I'm doing things, I'll just do some of these little ball mastery drills. And this is great because not only does it let you get a really good feel for the ball and these different kind of movements, but you're able to do them faster and faster. And you'll find, oh, that translates to me being able to take the ball away from the opponent really quickly. Now, again, it's not just doing this that's going to help you to be faster with the ball at your feet. It's going to go a long way though. And I like this one because it's also with the ball. In fact, in the comments, if it resonates with you, put I am mastering the ball at my feet or something to that degree, align with that, and then get out there and make sure you're doing these things. Now we move on to number two. And number two is just quick feet drills again with the ball. And I find these ones very helpful because ball mastery is great for getting a feel for the ball, getting those repetitions in. But I like doing movement with the ball, kind of moving forward or backwards. And so you can do in and outs and different kinds of drills that will help you with this. Now you can do this with cones or you can do it without cones. Obviously with cones, it takes more precision, so that will work on your control. But if you're doing it without cones, make sure you're in control as well. And the simple ones I'm gonna give you, and you can add, there's so many other ones you can do, but these are kind of like for me, the foundation, the staple ones to do. And it's in and outs very quickly with your right foot, your left foot, and then both feet. And for me, you don't really need to go much more complex than this. You can, and there are benefits to doing so, but doing just this is going to help you massively. Now it's important that you do this um, in control and you don't have to do it as fast as I'm doing it or you can do it faster if you can but you do it in control to the best of your ability and you'll find you're able to do it faster aim to stay on your toes here don't be flat-footed and just try and do it better each time this is a phenomenal drill I've given this to clients um, especially younger players a lot and it helps them improve really really quickly do not worry about the simplicity of it it will get you an amazing feel for the ball it'll help with your cuts and turns and your skill and it will help with the quickness of your feet with the ball. So if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit that like button. Now we're on to number three, and this is one of my favorites. It's ladder drills. Um, speed ladders are an amazing tool to increase your agility. It's one of my favorites. You know, I remember I was in high school and I was around 15 years old, I think, and we started doing speed training and these kind of things in the off season twice a week. And one of the things in there, among many other good drills, but one that really stood out to me was the ladder drills that we did. And I just noticed, because we had the indoor season um, really going on at the same time that my feet got so much faster. I was able to make these much quicker connections with the ball. Uh, it, it combined well with the skill I already had to be able to do moves faster, to be able to cut and turn faster. And I just remember such an increase in my game when I started doing these ladder drills and some of the other things that I've mentioned in this video. Now, I'm just going to give you two things that you can do. It's basically one drill where you put one foot in each rung as quickly as you can forward and then sideways and then the sideways again and essentially you're gonna follow this pattern for about 30 seconds and see how many you can do in that time um, and do that at least twice although you may want to do it more and the next one is uh, my favorite one where you're gonna do it but you're gonna do it sideways one in each and then you're gonna go out one in each and I'll show it on screen so it's clear because I may not be describing it that well but you're essentially going to aim to do this as fast as you can with good form and continually try and beat your record each and every single time and if you do that I can promise you your feet are gonna get so much 
much faster. Your agility is going to improve. Uh, and I'm just telling you, like doing ladder drills goes such a long way for your agility. And also there are tons of other ladder drills you can do. You know, you can buy full programs that give you a ton of different like agility drills you can do with a ladder. Also, I'll mention if you don't have a ladder, imagine one on the ground. I had a friend in high school who didn't have one. He made one out of duct tape. So you can get creative with this. I think you can also do it with cones. You don't need an actual ladder. It can be helpful, um, but you can still do this and just imagine the ladder there. Use chalk, use tape, use something. Um, but if you want to increase your agility, you'll find a way to make this work. Now, having the agility is great, but it's also really good to know some moves that are going to help you get out of tight spots and trouble in game. So I'm going to put that here for you to watch next. When you increase your agility and you learn these skill moves, opponents better watch out.